hold them in my hand, light them on fire. Well, good afternoon. My name is Fox, and I am a science interpreter here at the Franklin Institute. And I love bubbles. So the way a bubble actually works is you actually have a very, very thin wall of water sandwiched between two layers of soap. So it's soap, water, soap. Now some of you might be familiar with hydrogen. It is the first element and the most abundant element or chemical substance in our universe. Now, it goes into building up the sun, it goes into building water. There's a lot of hydrogen all over the place. And as you can see, it's lighter than air, which means it's trying to get above the air that we breathe, just like another gas called helium. However, the big difference between hydrogen and helium is that hydrogen is extremely flammable, which means if we introduce a little bit of fire to it, it's gonna combine with the oxygen in the air, it's gonna take that heat and boom, give you a nice chemical reaction and release a lot of heat. Basically, you're gonna get an explosion. So what I'm gonna do is take our hydrogen gas and add it to the soapy water. So we can make bubbles just like these, but instead of being full of air, we're gonna be full of hydrogen gas. Let's see what happens. Guess who's gonna be holding these bubbles? That's right. I'm gonna be holding these bubbles when they explode. So we're gonna make sure we get enough water and soap all over my arm to protect it from that fire. We're gonna take our hydrogen and create some bubbles. So what I'm gonna do is put on my goggles, very important, take a handful of these bubbles, hold them in my hand, and introduce them to some fire. Maybe we should try that again. So we take some more bubbles, hold them in my hand, light them on fire, and that hydrogen gas ignites So there you have it, hydrogen bubbles. Don't try that one at home, that's a little too dangerous. Once again, my name is Fox, thank you for watching.